Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Treviso, Italy at the Adidas EuroCamp with Bill Baino, uh, uh, assistant coach of the Minnesota Timberwolves and coaching director of the EuroCamp. Bill, how is the, uh, how's Treviso treating you? Great. Love it here. It's always uh, one of the highlights of my summer. Uh, the people here are great. The camp is great. The food is unbelievable. Um, but it's just a fun camp. The players are really, really coachable. Uh, and, and Italy's a beautiful country, so I love it. I've been coming here since 1996. Wow. How does this uh, year's edition stack up with, with years past? I think the talent in Europe is down a little bit. Uh, we had some really good young players here, though. Um, you know, and I, I think more so than anything, maybe this year's crop of European guards wasn't as good. We had a couple good ones, you know, but traditionally through the years there were always, you know, even the, the younger kids that weren't going to put their names in the draft, uh, you know, were, were better. So uh, I, I thought there were some really good young big kids, some good, some good wings. You know, a, a bunch of tweeners that you do have in Europe, a bunch of 4-3s that might fit the NBA, that might not. You never know till you get them up there. But, uh, you know, all in all, uh, you know, I think uh, it was a good camp talent-wise. So you were named coaching director of, of the EuroCamp. Can you um, walk me through your role here leading up to the camp and, uh, and on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, really, just to pick the coaches and then to organize the schedule. Uh, you know, of, of what we wanted to do with the players. Uh, the focus, uh, like it is every year under Pete, again, was this year more with the teams. So we incorporated a lot of the drill work with the actual coaches and their teams. And we put in NBA sets uh, that we went over and we tried to do as much live stuff as we could the first day. Um, you know, so that the scouts could see them. And we just worked on, you know, pin downs, on pick and rolls, on some motion sets. Uh, as opposed to doing stations, uh, you know, where they did, you know, maybe individual stuff because I thought that would help the quality of the games. Um, but really, my, my role was, was simple, you know, to, to pick the coaches from the NBA to come over, to organize the schedule of the day, uh, and then just to try to make sure things run on time and, and go smoothly. How receptive have the, the European kids been to uh, the NBA coaches? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I, I think... Uh, one reason, a big reason why, other than the talent, but a big reason why the, the Europe has made such a mark on the NBA and is catching up is because of the coachability of the players and I think the coaches over here. You have to give the European coaches a lot of credit and you have to give the players a lot of credit. You know, they're, uh, they're, they're highly, highly coachable. They listen, they're humble, uh, they play for the team. They're not out playing individually. I think one of the issues we have in the USA is we focus way too much on individual play, especially with our young players and, and the AAU basketball in the summertime. And you don't have it here. They're being coached at a high, high level at a young age uh, where you know the concept is the team. Um, so they're, they're really fun to coach and they're extremely receptive uh, you know, to, the, to the concepts. A lot of what we're teaching, they know already. There are a few new things that we bring from the NBA, maybe that we run a little differently. They pick it up quick, uh, but one common theme is they're extremely receptive to the coaching. Is there anything you've been able to learn as a coach coming here in the last couple of years? You know, I think you always learn. Um, you know, I learned that working for Larry Brown my second year in coaching. You know, you're, if you're involved in basketball, you're going to learn something because everything, everybody does things a different way. You'll pick up little nuances. You'll you'll be re-reminded of things that you used maybe 10 years ago, and you'll see it work and, and go back to it. Um, but but yeah, I, I, always watching our guys, Coach Kelvin Sampson and Dave Yeager, uh, Caleb Canales, watching Andrea Finchietti, the, the Italian coach from Cantu. You know, you see different sets, you know, different options, different reads. So absolutely, you know, uh, you, you learn all the time. Thank you so much, Coach. I appreciate your time. All right.